know what we had. It was always kind of... Chaotic. Yeah. How many times did you tell me it was over? But we always seem to find our way back, you know? Because there was always something there. There always was. There is. But there's more. When I found Marty, she was in trouble. Her son was in trouble. Shocking. You know, you accuse me of not always being honest, and maybe you're right. Maybe I wasn't honest with myself, but now there's some things that need to be said. You know, for a man who really doesn't like to talk, why are you choosing now? Because it's important. Before Marty got her memory back, she didn't know me. She wasn't the person that I knew. But now that it's come back. Including her feelings for you. People like to gossip. They like to judge, and it's not fair. But I think you might be able to put a stop to that if you get up there tomorrow and show them that you're not hiding it. You're not hiding what you've done. You know, Mom, I, I wish you, you would stop trying to put a positive spin on everything. I mean, I messed up. I messed up. I, 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 I got started pregnant. I did what I did to Matthew. You know, I'm just trying to make things right the best way I can. Well, what, do you, what do you think life is all about? What do you think growing up is about? Do you think you start doing everything right the day you're born until the day you die? No, but... No, I... no. It's about being tested. And you've... You've been tested more than anyone your age should be. And, and you've made mistakes, okay, but you're learning from them. And you know what? <sighs> Whether you put on a cap and gown tomorrow or not, I don't care. I'm very proud of you. But I think... I think you should show everyone how proud you are of yourself. So that's what this is about, is Marty, she wants to pick up where the two of you left off. What about you? Do you want to pick up with Marty where you left off with her? You're leaving? What choice do I have? My, my daughter. Her life is a crisis now. She needs a, a facility that specializes in psychological disorders, severe, severe disorders in adolescence. Of course. And she deserves the very best care possible. That's why I, I got these uh, brochures. Um, this facility is not far from Landview, and they specialize in treating adolescents at risk. Yeah, uh, Lola's doctor at St. Anne's has informed me of this place. I'm confused. It's, it's too close to Landview. There has been too much pain. For Lola here, pain uh, she has suffered and pain she has caused for others. She, need, she needs to get away. What she needs desperately is to start over somewhere else. And what about what her father needs? So how does it work? Did you just get on stage or some guy's lap and become their fantasy? Well, when a guy walks into a strip club, it doesn't exactly take rocket science to figure out what his fantasy is. I, I guess what I'm asking is, did you like it? You know, Rex, most of my life I was broke and I felt ugly, so... I found myself in this world where people just threw gobs of money at you to just stare at you like you're the hottest thing ever. So, I mean, yeah, I loved it. Loved every minute of it, at least in the beginning. And then? And then one day I realized I was knocking back like three or four shots of tequila just to get on stage. 
So you quit? No. I quit two and a half years from that day. How'd you get through it? Did Skylar give you drugs? Oh, no, I never used. Strong and thing I've ever taken as an aspirin in my little tequila shots. And one of the girls, Amber, she, uh, she told me to make up my own story. What kind of story? <laughs> I wanted some cute guy with a sweet face to just show up outside my dressing room door after the show and tell me, Stacy, you're too good for this life. I'm gonna take you out of here. <sighs> Did Skylar ever tell you that? No, Skylar wasn't perfect. But you know, he showed me that I was beautiful all on my own. Huh. Well, I'm glad you could start to feel better about yourself. Because you really are a good person. You saved my son's life. And I know that's the only reason why you gave me the money for Stan. And I promise I'll pay you back. Okay, no, you let Skyler pay me back. He's the one who ripped you off. No, this one's on me, okay? I'll get a job and I'll pay you some every month. It's just the job, that's the thing. I can't do what I was doing before. I can't take my clothes off for money. I can't, you know, because of you. Apologize to Skyler now. What? You heard me. Oh, it's okay. No, it's not. Apologize. Sorry. Okay, that is it. Time out for you, buddy. No games, no phone calls, no nothing. If it's not homework, you're not doing it. And leave your door open. I hate you. You can hate me all you want, but I'm still your mother. I'm your son, and, and, and that makes me proud. <laughs> you know, uh, I've had to deal with my share of people's stares and comments. And it's not easy. Especially when you're already having a hard time. But when I did stand up, oh, I felt good. Okay. <laughs> okay. I will stand up there tomorrow and receive my fake, well, no, empty folder. And, uh, but you know, I promise, in, in, in a couple months from now, there will be a diploma in there. So, just search the crowd tomorrow for the people who'll be rooting for you. I, I'm assuming I'm not gonna be the only one sitting out there looking at you and thinking maybe you and Star. Well, I mean, you can't go through what we went through, you know, giving the baby away and, and, and not get closer. But like you and Rachel both said, I need to concentrate on my recovery right now. Sure. So, friendship is pretty much all I can handle. Okay. So anyway, what about you? <laughs> what about me? Well, you said that uh, you wanted to get uh, everything back that you lost. Does that include John McBain? Uh -huh. You can't just make this about Marty. Why not, John? Come on, it's the truth. The truth is we both know we're probably not the ones for each other. We started out as friends. Am I the only one that thought that we had something good? Yeah, it was really good. But there was always something that stopped us from getting closer. And it wasn't just Marty. I think if you're being honest, it was taught to. You're right. 